everyone, my name is Kukurisma Dewi and now I would like to tell you my speech which the title is Proper Email Etiquette. So please stay tuned. Thank you. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to tell my highest gratitude to the Ami Faigat because without his blessing, I will not be able to stand here to complete my speech assignment. I am Puturisma Dewi, would like to deliver my speech entitled Proper Email Etiquette. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, now the improvement of technology is increasing. Technology helps humans to do their works, and it is make our life become easier and effective use of time. For the example, now we are communicating with someone, we use technology, and we are doing our activity, it is helped by technology. Not only that, it is also needed in all aspects of, of our life. For the example, uh, like education and also economy, especially when we are applying job. Of course, when we are applying job, the company will choose person who uh, not only has a good attitude, but also uh, who uh, has a good ability in running the technology. So it is important from now on uh, for us to know how to use technology properly. But ladies and gentlemen, do you realize that there are moral degradation in this globalization era? For the example, people communicate disrespectfully with other people who they don't know. And it is not our culture. Our culture is to talk politely with someone older or someone we don't know before. Especially when we are applying job via email. We should know how uh, the etiquette when we send an email to someone or a company. So ladies and gentlemen, here I would like to tell you the proper email etiquette. But first of all, let me tell you what is the definition of email. Yeah, email is a message that delivers through electronic tools such as phone um, and also uh, our computer and it is sent uh, via network. This may seem like a trivial thing, but in some ways our personality is reflected from the way we pay attention to a small thing that might be fatal if we do a mistake on it. For the example, when we send an email for work or partnership purpose, if the email that we send is not proper, then what is happened, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, we can be rejected. And moreover, ladies and gentlemen, the email that we send it not proper, it will be uh, not read by the company. So ladies and gentlemen, we know that someone who works as a HRD or Human Resources Department, they might be know this problem because they face it oftenly. The problem are people have a lack of information about this etiquette in sending email. So in this speech, I would like to tell you the problem. What is the problem in uh, sending proper email and also how uh, is the solution and how to write a proper email. First, people send an email like they uh, like the way they sending a chat with their friends or their close friends and uh, actually like they already uh, know each other. For the example, when you ask someone for paid partnership and you just write an email like Hi, Mr. Alex. How much is the uh, fee for your endorsement in next week? Thank you. For the example, you just uh, write like that in your email. It can mean a uh, disrespectful to the receiver, ladies and gentlemen. So from here, we must learn that sending an email, we must keep our manner and also our attitude. So the etiquette in sending a correct email is first, you you have to say greeting to the receiver. For the example, good morning, good afternoon, and etc. And next, you have to introduce yourself, telling your identity, such as your name, what is your position, or what is your major, if you are a college student. 
then the most important thing is uh, you have to tell what is your purpose in sending this email and please use polite words because people may judge uh, may judge you by the way you present yourself um, in your email the second is people usually didn't write uh, the subject email the subject email is one of important aspect in sending an email because it is the main purpose of why we send the email or we can say that it is um, the title of our email uh, your subject email uh, must be very clear for example there is a job vacancy as a customer service shopkeeper and warehouse staff then you must write the email subject clearly you are not allowed to uh, write on job application only in your subject email but you must write the position that you want to apply for so subject email is the must when you are sending an email and afraid ladies and gentlemen never write the email content in a sub email subject i often uh, see uh, someone sending uh, email and the content of the email is written in the subject of email and what happened ladies and gentlemen in the uh, body email it is empty so you know you know that it is wrong so never ever do this for the example hi uh, you write uh, this sentence in the subject subject email hi mr alex i would like to get the thesis with you would you um uh, can please tell me the time thank you you write it in the subject email and yeah it is totally wrong so never ever do that and the fourth, ladies and gentlemen, if your email is um, intended to, to do a collaboration, so you must explain um, uh, who you are, where do you work, and please briefly explain what is the purpose uh, of you sending the email. Like what kinds of collaboration, well, uh, when the collaboration, and uh the what is the scope of work that you will be uh do with the with your receiver so ladies and gentlemen remember in the body email you have to write the purpose of the email clearly so there will be not misunderstanding between uh you as a sender and also the receiver and the fifth is when you want to send an email to someone especially for job uh, or job or business uh, and also maybe about your course if you are a college student please send it in appropriate time for example you can send your uh, send your email in the work time and don't even send it in a midnight or in a time uh, when people have day break time because it can be disturbing someone again and again ladies and gentlemen we must learn how to respect others so ladies and gentlemen those are the proper email etiquette and now i will give you an example of how to write and send an email in a proper way so the example is first dear mr alexander my name is puturis madewi and I am a college student from English language education in a third semester. I am, as the representation of foreign language department, would like to tell you that we have been paying attention on your uh, inspiring videos on YouTube. We are conducting an online seminar for the new college students in our department on how to have a good ability in public speaking. And we think you are the right person to work with as a speaker in this seminar. With that being said, uh, could you provide us your schedule and your rate card? Looking forward to hearing from you and we hope this would be fruitful online seminar. If you have any question, um, please don't hesitate to contact me via email or uh, my number. Have a great day ahead. Putus Madewi.
So ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, how we write the proper email. That is all about proper email etiquette and it might be a small thing but it is important especially when we um, applying for a job or important matters. Please don't waste the opportunity uh, just because you don't know how to compose a proper email. Um, and because we, if we make um, proper email with a good attitude and also we learn how to respect uh, others, so other people also will respect us. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all my speech.